How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Max K Progress. I think I'm gonna chill with the meme intros for a while. Those last two are pretty cringy, and I think you guys have had enough of them. Even though I personally find them fucking hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, if we take a look at my Max K plan, we can see that in the last episode I managed to get my first goal out of the way, and that was 99 fishing. The plan for this one is going to be to work on the second goal, which is agility and mining. I don't plan on actually getting 99 agility and mining this episode, otherwise it's going to come out maybe like a year later or something. But hopefully I can make some good progress on both of them. Alright guys, check this out. I call it Commando Pro Her Picking. If you spam the patch for a little bit, and then as soon as you get the second one, you click away, you can harvest the herb patch without even being near it. Like, look at this, I'm still gaining herbs. <laughs> And I'm not even, I'm not even next to it. So that's this is how you do max efficiency farm runs. So I don't think I ever fully explained how I'm training farming at the moment. I'm basically doing a whole bunch of things. First of all, I'm doing torso runs as you just saw, but I'm also farming papaya trees. I do papayas because they're very cheap, and also I don't really care how fast I get farming done. I just kind of want to get it done eventually. And that's pretty much the theme with my farming trading. The rest of the trees that I do are extremely cheap. Just they just take a really long time to grow. On top of papaya trees, I also do my three hardwood trees here over on Fossil Island. They only brought one mahogany sapling for some reason. I also like to do a single spirit tree because the other one I just want to keep in Port Serum. And the last type of tree that I do is a Calqua tree, which is probably the most cost efficient of all of these. My method for agility training is going to be pretty straightforward. Just going to do Sears until 90 since it's actually faster than Relica with the uh, teleport. And from 90 to 99 I'll just do Ardone. I'm honestly so happy. I am so happy right now. <laughs> there he is. Oh, I didn't get my live reaction, but yeah, I got the freaking squirrel pet. This is an amazing pet. One of my favorites, honestly. I still think the beaver's the best, if I'm honest. But I'll take a squirrel. Dude, look at him. He's a giant squirrel. He's a good guy. Let's talk to him. Squirrel fur. I guess fleas need a home, too. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna beat me. Alright, whatever. Let's go insure him, because I like this pet. There we go, nice and insured. We'll never be losing this guy again. I'm so happy. <laughs> and after many cross-country practices atop Sears Village, I am finally at... 90 agility! Okay, so that unlocks Ardone. So, I'll probably be doing that until 99. And in a couple seconds here, I'll we'll be getting 91 agility. Go, let's go ahead and do it. We're about to open the master clue. Here it is. Eh, Alright. That's pretty average. Here it is, guys. This is going to be 92 agility. Now I just have to do all that again. I'll be 99. So I've been doing some magic imbues while I train agility here. It's pretty good. It's not that much more uh, effort. And uh, it's pretty good XP as well, and it's actually paid off because I'm about to get 98 magic here from uh, magic abuse. So that's 98. One more to go for 99. I pretty much haven't really trained this skill in earnest since 94. It's pretty much just been leveling up through teleports and the odd slayer task. That's pretty funny. And this is going to be 93 agility. Just over the hump now, but this is still taking absolutely forever. Okay, so I logged in earlier today and I found out that my achievement diary cape was not trimmed anymore because they added a new quest. This looks like the Zaya quest involving the Shazian house. I think they're going to do one for every single house. So let's go knock this out real quick. There we go. Nice and short. Nice and easy. Uh, let's see. I should have gotten this thing here that I can put in my book. Uh, let's just throw that in there. There we go. Add it to the carrots memoirs. And now I can teleport somewhere near the Shazian house, which is right here. Not that bad. Here we go. This will be 94 agility. Very nice. I usually get my farming levels in Ledia, but this time I get it in this spirit tree here on Karamja. That's 94 farming. All right. This is going to be 95 agility. All right. This should be enough golden nuggets to buy the bigger pouch. So I believe I talked to him here. Uh, is there anything else I can unlock? Yep, 200 gold nuggets for the bigger sack, thank you very much. And there we go, so I believe, yeah, that is actually the last thing that I need to unlock at the Motherload Mine, so I am now done. Alright, here we go, this is going to be 96 agility, I'm actually not getting it at the end of the course now, it's kind of weird, but there we go, it's 96. Um, also, I've switched to Rune Light. Um, it just seemed like a fairly logical switch, and, you know, it has a lot of OS buddy features, except, you know, it's free. 
So yeah, I'll be using Runelight from now. Alright, I've been AFPing a lot of mining lately, uh, while I train up my fishing account. And yeah, I'm actually 89 mining now. I think the last time I updated was like 86, so I got like 3 levels out of that experience, so pretty good. Really AFK too, it was nice. Alright, here we go. This is going to be 97 agility. It's still taking absolutely forever, but uh, we're going to get there someday. Alright, I didn't actually expect to be getting this anytime soon, but I'm actually about to be getting 99 magic. Yeah, so pretty much from 96 magic, I've been training my magic just from like teleporting around the game and magic imbues while training agility. So yeah, I've been trying to get pretty efficiently ever since then. Also, Magic and B isn't even that bad on, in terms of cost. It's actually a pretty cheap spell per cast. And yeah, pretty proud of my efficiency on this one. I did it in zero time as well. Yeah, I should be getting it uh, in about an hour, actually. It, it is very slow Magic XP, but yeah, I'll be getting it in the next clip. the dumbest thing I think I've ever done in this game, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this cape real quick. I think it's in the magic guild. Let's see, where is he? Oh, I think I saw a guy over here with a magic cape. Rope store owner, is that him? Oh wait, there he is. Yep, that's him. Hey, tell me about your cape, sir. Oh, okay, I buy it from his store, I believe. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. Let's go ahead and buy a magic cape trim to also get the hood. Boom. Let's throw that on. Ooh, it's, it's looking good, dude. It's actually a really nice looking cave. This, this one's really, really good. Right, emote time. That's pretty, that's pretty fancy. Okay, another update, another quest for the game. This one is in the uh, vampire region. It's preparing for raids too. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, I lost my accomplishment cave trim. So uh, I guess we're going to have to go do that quest now. Before I do that though, my monk fishing alt is actually uh, running out of membership today, so I want to go ahead and claim all of the uh, monk fish that I got. So I gave this account about 6 mil, um, including a bond to uh, spend with, so let's see what I get back from it. That's all the monk fish I got, and yeah, so I spent about 6 mil on this, and I got 3.7 in return, so obviously that wasn't very uh, profitable, but now that I have the account all leveled up and I won't be like wasting days with the bond, you know, just leveling it up and stuff. I think if I do actually give this a bond and fish for the full 14 days, I will actually uh, make some money back. Or I can just buy a membership on this account, which I'll probably eventually end up doing. But yeah, that's the end of Monkfish Man's saga for now. And there we go, that's the quest. Uh, that was actually a really, really cool quest. I actually read all the dialogue, and that was some, uh, some pretty neat lore. Alright, back to running around Ardone. So I went to go check if that quest had any new music tracks and that I still have my music cape, and I actually don't. I can't equip it right now, um, but it wasn't because of that quest, it was because of an earlier update. This is the Roots and Flutes uh, music track. It fights when you fight that Mosh Giant boss that they released earlier. So I guess I'll do a kill of that just for fun. Not exactly what I was looking for. The names I right click sometimes, like Jesus Christ. Get out of here, you stupid plant. Okay, moment of truth, and there we go. Theater of Blood released today, and I'm too much of a pleb to do it myself, so they implemented this little uh, spectator mode where pretty much anybody can join anybody's group if they have their private on. So I'm here watching uh, Bodhi and Wook's team on Twitch right now, they're doing pretty dang good, they're almost about to kill the boss. But yeah, the only reason I'm doing this is to get the music tracks, because I, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to do this myself. So yeah, let's just get these music tracks real quick. Valiant attempt from these guys, but it's looking like they're not going to be able to get it on this one. This boss is very difficult. No one has actually even killed it yet, so uh, pretty interested to see who gets it first. But luckily for me, I got all my music tracks now, so I should be able to put my cape back on. Just kidding, I need to unlock this track, uh, which I assume plays when they beat it. So this won't be uh, gettable for anybody for a while. <laughs> okay, here it is. 98 agility. Um, never ever thought I'd get this high level of agility, and it's looking like I'm gonna get 99, so, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh my god. 25k XP till 99. It's actually happening. I'm actually gonna get 99 agility in this game. Jesus. 
this took forever. It's probably took about maybe three months. Um, to be fair, I didn't really play all that much in those three months. Probably like 20, or maybe 10 to 15 hours a week, max. Um, but yeah, the next clip, I will be getting 99 agility. I am glad to be done with the skill and I finally get to move on to something different. I swear to god, I've been living in Ardown for the past three months, but uh, anyway, I believe it's this person I talked to. Ahoy, Captain. Is it true you skill, skill, sell skill capes of agility? Can I get one, please? Alright, I can definitely afford that. I have about 43 mil in my inventory, and there it is. Agility cape trimmed. Let's take a look at that. Ooh. Now that looks clean. You're probably wondering how many marks of grace I got from all of that, and the number is... 3,437. That's a pretty hefty amount. I believe Amylase is going for around like 950 each, so that's around 30-ish mil if I sell all that and convert it to Amylase. But that's not how I'm going to be spending this uh, entirely. Hello there, Grace, you beautiful lady. Let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Uh, not going to be buying these yet. I'm actually going to get uh, another graceful set. Uh, yeah, I have, uh, had this white set for quite a while, and I do really like it, but, uh, sometimes I want to wear something different, so I'm gonna go get another color real quick. And that color will be the yellow outfit, which I believe is the Lovakenge. There we go, that's the yellow top, and there we go, that's the full set. Um, this apparently is orange, actually, I always thought it was yellow, but still, I actually really like how it looks. Oh yeah, that's looking good, yellow is my favorite color. And, I don't know, every time I saw this I thought it was yellow, but I guess it's orange now that I look at it, but still, orange is a cool color, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's time to spend the rest of this on analyze packs for that sweet cash. And one repetitive strain injury later, all of those marks have been converted into amylase crystals. Let's see how many? 28 mil worth of amylase crystals. Never thought you'd be able to make money off of agility, but I guess, I guess that's just how RuneScape is now. And I think that's a good stopping point for this one. Managed to get 99 agility and uh, not a whole lot else. Um, I did a few quests as they came out, but that's about it. But anyways, thanks for watching and goodbye.